before I talked about using Google Maps just to draw and measure things. There's a part of Google Docs that lets you create maps and save them. To get to it, go to mymaps.google.com, make sure you're logged into your Google account, and it will give you this dialog that lets you create a new map. So I'm going to create a new map. I'm going to, I'm going to make a field trip. I'm going to start right in front of my middle school, and in the icon bar, I'm going to add a driving route. I'm going to drive all the way to the steps of the Capitol in Washington, D.C. So now I have my route that I've uh, taken. Let's say I decide we should stop at Gettysburg. I can grab my route, drag it over to Gettysburg, and it automatically reroutes me. Now my total trip goes through Gettysburg. If I go back to the National Mall, let's say I want to add some locations to visit. I, I'm going to put all these in a layer. I've already got a driving layer. I'm going to add a layer, and I'm going to call this layer DC Day Number 1. Up in the menu, I'm going to click on the uh, location icon, and I'm going to click on the National Gallery of Art, and it's going to pop up a dialog box where I can type in a title and a description. I'm going to put the time as the description, the time we're going to be at this location. And then I'm going to repeat that for a bunch of things I might want to see on the first day in DC. Now over here in the menu, if I click the three dots next to DC day number one, and then open the data table, it will show me all the locations in this layer. And since I put the times for those locations in the description, it gives me a nice little agenda. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to title this uh, map with something other than untitled. I'm going to call it LBMS Trip to DC. And now I've saved my little trip. But remember I said this is actually a Google Doc. It's saved in my Google Drive. And in Google Drive, you can share things. So if I click in my map, if I click on the share link, it opens up the same dialog that I saw whenever I shared a regular Google Doc. I'm going to change the global access so that anyone at my school who has the link can get to this file. All they have to do is communicate the link with people at my school. So here's the link. bit.ly slash mymaplb. It's all lowercase. When you go to that URL, it'll take you to my map. I can still do other things. I could go back and measure some things. I drew a box around the property of the White House, and when I click on that, it tells me that the White House property is 23.4 acres, all included in Google's My Maps.